What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a fantastic vegan cheeseburger. Just kidding guys, you know me better than that by now. Today I'll be showing you this fantastic double bacon cheeseburger with a runny egg, the way the good Lord intended. If you don't like runny eggs, feel free to say mean things to me in the comments. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, you can't have a burger without some burger meat. And today we're using the best of the best. This is Wagyu ground beef from Snake River Farms. They are not a sponsor, I wish they were. This is good stuff. I found it on sale for $5.99 a pound, which is a great deal for Wagyu. Check out your local grocery store, see if you can find that. We have some bacon. This is optional for the pork patrol lurking in the comments. I'm also gonna go with a runny egg for this cheeseburger. Again, optional ingredient, but if you know like I know, you should add that to the party. We got a red onion, some lettuce, tomato, brioche buns are the gold standard when it comes to a burger bun. And last but not least, my friends, my favorite cheese for a cheeseburger is American cheese, but I like to get mine from the deli section of the grocery store. A Little bit better quality, it melts beautifully, great flavor and it's gonna make your burger excellent. And here, my friends, we have four slices of thick cut bacon on an aluminum foil lined baking sheet. Makes for a super easy cleanup. And if you know like I know, cleaning up is half the battle. It keeps your wife off your back. Make sure you clean as you go, fellas. This is going in a 425 degree oven for about 15 minutes or until it's golden brown and crispy. And this episode is sponsored by Audible. If you know me, you know I'm an avid reader and I love Audible because they offer incredible selections of audiobooks across every genre from bestsellers to new releases to celebrity memoirs, mysteries, thrillers, motivation, wellness, business, and more. Audible also lets you enjoy all of your audio entertainment in one app. You'll always find the best of what you love or something new to discover. Personally, I think reading the right books is one of the best ways to change your life for the better, and that's why I want to recommend Audible to you. And once you become a member, you get full access to a growing selection of included audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. I travel quite a bit, and Audible makes those long plane rides and road trips so much more of an enjoyable experience. I'm currently reading Phil Knight's Shoe Dog for the second time to channel my inner entrepreneur on these road trips. With thousands of titles to choose from, and podcast to listen to, I think you should give it a try. Today, visit audible.com slash Mr. Make It Happen or text Mr. Make It Happen to 500-500. That's audible.com slash Mr. Make It Happen or text Mr. Make It Happen to 500-500. And next we have our burger sauce. Super simple, not so secret burger sauce these days. It's a variation of this on most recipes out there, but I'm gonna show you how to put a nice little twist on it. We're gonna get started with mayonnaise. I like Duke's mayonnaise is my favorite mayonnaise, but use whatever you like at home. We have a little garlic, some sweet relish, ketchup, all-purpose seasoning, or just a little salt and pepper, and some smoked paprika. All right, first things first, we're going in with our Duke's mayonnaise, about a half cup or so of that. Another quick pro tip, guys, these plastic spoons come in handy. Super easy cleanup. They can act as a tasting spoon and they help you clean as you go. So not only are you getting recipes with this channel, but you're getting relationship advice. Because if you clean up your kitchen as you cook, your wife will not yell at you when she comes down the stairs. Trust me, I know. After the mayonnaise comes about a quarter cup of ketchup, followed by two tablespoons of sweet relish. If you don't like sweet relish, guys, you can use the dill relish, but I like the little bit of sweetness that the sweet relish provides to this. Next, we're going in with one teaspoon of garlic paste or fresh garlic, minced garlic, whatever you got in the fridge will work. And then for the seasoning, we're going with a little all-purpose seasoning, which is my blend of salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, a couple other seasonings. If you haven't tried that yet, you can get yours via the link in the description box and a little smoked paprika. If you don't have the AP, use whatever your favorite all-purpose seasoning is or just to use a little salt and pepper, that'll work too. All right, we're gonna break out the whisk and mix to combine. You wanna taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. Should be a nice pink color, like you see right here. And it's gonna pair nicely with your cheeseburger. So with a good burger, obviously it all starts with good quality hamburger meat. And today we're using American Wagyu beef Use whatever you can find at this store, but I do recommend at least 80-20 on the fat ratio of your ground beef for a cheeseburger. So for this recipe, we're going with two four to four and a half ounce patties. Now typically with a smash burger, you put it in the skillet and smash it in the skillet, 
Personally, I've tested both methods and I find that it's much easier to cook it this way once you smash it on the cutting board and you can get better seasoning coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and smash these patties, try to form them a little bit, and then we'll be able to season them nicely, make sure we get good coverage. Now typically when you're cooking burgers, the golden rule is do not press it or smash it, but that only applies to once the burger has begun cooking. Before you cook it, you're free to smash it. So that's what we're gonna do here before it goes into the skillet. That way we can evenly season it, pay some attention to the burger, make sure we get some good flavor on there. I'm going down first with some kosher salt, a decent application of that, and then I'm gonna hit it with my all-purpose seasoning. Or you can hit it with some onion powder, black pepper, and garlic. Really, whatever your favorite burger seasoning is, my AP is low sodium, so I feel confident in being able to hit it with a little extra salt. And now it's time for the fun part. We have our flat cast iron skillet over medium high heat. I'm gonna add just a touch of avocado oil and about a teaspoon or so of butter, just for flavor and for heart health. We're gonna allow that to melt and then we're gonna add our smashed burger patties right to this skillet. Now, if you don't have one of these skillets, you can use a regular cast iron skillet. Any frying pan will get the job done. The flat surface just makes it a little bit easier to work with, but use whatever you have on hand. So at this point, we just wanna allow the skillet to do the work. We got the burger patties flush with the skillet, making maximum surface area contact. We're looking for a beautiful crust to develop. That's the benefit of a smash burger. You get that delicious crust. We'll flip them over after about 90 seconds, maybe two minutes, depending on how the color is looking. After about two to three minutes, we're gonna go ahead and flip this one over, see how the color is looking. Oh man, got beautiful caramelization and crust on the outside. That's exactly what you wanna see. Let that cook to your desired internal temperature. Then we're gonna go down with a couple pieces of cheese. Now this is the part where it gets real healthy. We're going down with two pieces of American cheese because we're here for a good time, not a long time. And that beautiful people is a double cheeseburger cooked to perfection. We're gonna go ahead and take this off the skillet, allow it to rest for a second while we toast our buns and build us a burger. And now don't forget to toast those buns. So we're going in with about a teaspoon or so of butter, allow that to melt, and then we're gonna toast our brioche buns just to give them a little bit of texture, help them hold up to that double burger that we're building. Once that butter is melted, we're gonna go ahead and add our brioche buns Give them about a minute or so. Once they get a nice golden brown color, we'll go ahead and remove them. All right, so for the fried egg, this is my pro tip. I like to use a little bit of vegetable oil spray in the top of a mason jar. I'm gonna place that in there. You wanna spray the mason jar, that way the egg does not stick. And then we're gonna crack that egg right into the mason jar to get the perfect circle on the fried egg. So as you can see, we got a semi-perfect circle here on the egg. You wanna make sure that the whites are set, but the yolk still can run for us. If you don't like runny yolks, you can fry it as hard as you want to. You do wanna season it though with a little salt and pepper or a little all-purpose seasoning. That's gonna go on the burger and fit beautifully. As you can see here, we have two beautifully toasted pieces of brioche. We're gonna hit both sides with that fantastic burger sauce that we made earlier. I'm a both sides of the bun kind of guy. Feel free to just add it to one side if you want to. There we go. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Now find the prettiest piece of bib lettuce or butter lettuce that you can find. Place that down first. Then we want a nice thin sliced tomato. If you don't like tomato, feel free to leave it off. Always season your tomatoes though, a little salt and pepper goes a long way. 
Then we're going down with a little bit of red onion. A couple pieces of bacon, because why the hell not? And here comes the double burger patties. Right on top. Oh, man. Last but not least, you got to put the angel in the Christmas tree. That beautiful fried egg right on top. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. Oh, man. It's about time to go on for the taste test, but before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. Try to cut right through this bad boy if we can. Look at that. And now for the moment of truth. Going in for the taste test, let's see what we got.